Uh, hello, welcome to our next meeting. Uh, I'm Maka Eradze from uh, the University of Foggia, Italy, and today we're going to talk about designing effective lessons and supporting learning with the aid of technology. Uh, first of all, to understand how can we use technology and design our um, uh, learning and teaching uh, strategies, uh, I would like you to pay attention to three basic paradigms that exist in the learning sciences and uh, pedagogical sciences. Uh, which is constructivism, uh, cognitivism, const uh, behaviorism. Uh, as for the connectivism theory, uh, the paradigm that has been introduced by Downs and uh, Simmons, uh, there will be a, a specific uh, meeting devoted to it, so we're not going to talk about this here. However, I'd like you to pay attention to what paradigms can influence our strategies and the design of our uh, online learning or distance learning or technology enhanced learning. Uh, based on the um, Erdmer and Newby suggestions, we should take into account the level of knowledge, task knowledge, and the level of cognitive processing required by the task. As you can see from this um, a picture figure, uh, the more uh, constructivist strategies we choose, the higher the task knowledge and uh, um, cognitive processing is required by the uh, task and uh, uh, accordingly there is a higher cognitive load uh, for the learner. So we might want to use different behaviorist, uh, cognitivism and constructivist strategies while we design for learning. And uh, here are some examples uh, to uh, plan and execute our strategy so we can uh, design the best learning environment and conditions for the learner, so-called experiences. There are many learning theories and frameworks that we can use in this context. And here is a nice map from a European project that has been already created and uh, you can download this map and uh, help yourself with the guiding your uh, teaching strategies. Uh, though these uh, theories are also backed up by the bigger paradigms that we are using, the behaviorism, cognitivism and constructivism. And um, also there are new theories specifically for technology enhanced learning. One of which is communities of inquiry framework, which consists of three main components, social presence, cognitive presence, and teaching presence, which create educational experience and is governed by different types of interactions that can happen between teachers and students, uh, students and students, and students and content. Uh, this is uh, to create, first of all, uh, supporting discourse. Uh, teacher's role is in actually the selecting the content and setting the curriculum, sharing personal meaning and focusing the discussion within the AC, mostly asynchronous uh, online environments. And social presence is to set the climate between the student and the learner. So this, uh, this is one of the first and the most uh, used frameworks in the field. So I would uh, like you to pay attention to this framework and read more about this. Uh, you will certainly lead uh, this framework to conceptualize and understand the main uh, problems or affordances, main challenges and affordances in the uh, technology enhanced learning or distance learning field and plan the, your teaching accordingly.